Mas. Mas. Oh baik ibu sebentar. Iya. Yeah. Kami. Aku. Oh, aku nggak bisa ya Mbak Tias boleh minta tolong ini Ibu Sri dijadikan host. Oh host, ko host saja Pak. Oh ko host ya. Ya aku host. Biar saya bisa ngerekod nanti untuk. Ya sudah Ibu. Terima kasih. <tuh> Hi afternoon friends. Ya afternoon Pak Manis. Before we start I'm gonna Yeah, just before we start I'm gonna play the member stories uh, from ACC Indonesia video just for four minutes I think. Sure. My name is Yoga Pravita. Currently an associate director at EY Jakarta, qualified in London, UK, uh, been a member of ACCA for two years. Being an ACCA member means that I'm, I'm part of the global network that ACCA has, has got. And also ACCA gives you um, credibility as a finance professional to, to work globally and locally. ACCA certainly has given me lots of opportunities and has helped me a lot early in my career. You need to make sure you spend time in the morning to have breakfast with your wife and also the kids. Uh, to me, it's, it's very important. And also at night, make sure you get home timely, spend a bit more time and continue work from home. Working in one of the big fours gives you some degree of flexibility, which I appreciate while you're managing your commitment as a, as a husband and dad and also managing your responsibility at work. My name is Lasma Pujianti Sarkistio. I currently work at Pasar Jaya uh, as finance and accounting head. Being an SCCA member, I'm more confident in making decisions on a daily basis, I minimize the risk and maximize the result. There's a lot of job opportunities opens for me. They give me higher salary, higher benefit, higher take home pay, higher position. The best thing about my job, I can contribute more from my hands, from my thinking, from the teamwork here because we try to contribute to make 8 million people life better than yesterday. The challenge for professional accountants uh, in the 5 to 10 years is basically the competitions played with artificial intelligence. You might already aware that computers, AI, are capable of taking over any works that are being done repetitively. And we understand in accounting fields, there are a lot of works we do are actually repetitive works. Those will be taken over by AI. In essence, you have to be expert in exploiting your minds to analyze, to make decisions, and to solve problems. Only by having that, you can survive. Now, with all those challenges that you are facing, the question is now, what ACCA can do for you. Now, let me say this. If you are a member of ACCA, you can take advantage of the comprehensive knowledge and the full resources, expertise that they have. They have all the technologies that are needed in helping us to face our challenges.
ya, uh, Bu Furi mohon maaf. Untuk MC dengan Pak Oktarian betul ya? Bu Okta Pak. Oh Bu Okta, oke. Okay. Iya. <laughs> Baik mohon maaf. Bu Okta, Mbak Okta, iya yeah. MC-nya. Mbak Okta, halo. Halo Pak Franz. Ya selamat siang Mbak. Ya, berhubung ini sudah jam 2 siang, mungkin kita bisa mulai sesinya. Saya serahkan uh, terlebih dahulu ke Brawijaya. Mbak Okta, silakan. Oke, terima kasih Pak Franz. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam wabarakatuh. Selamat siang semuanya. Welcome to ACCA Conference 2020, Accounting 101 Leader of Tomorrow. This conference is organized by Accounting Department, Faculty of Economic and Business, Universitas Brawijaya, and ACCA Indonesia. May I have attention before we start today's event? I would like to remind you to turn on your camera and mute your audio during the session. Please adjust your seat comfortably and make sure your con network has a stable internet connection for your convenience. Before we start the conference, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Okta Dila, and I am your host today. It's such an honor to welcome you here in this event. First of all, let's thank God who has given us mercy and blessing so we can attend this event in this afternoon without any problems, even though we are still in the pandemic situation. I hope all of you on an outstanding condition physically and also mentally because I do understand that this coronavirus has bring out so much unpleasant condition to us all. Welcome to Honorable Head of Accounting Department, Faculty of Economic and Business, Universitas Brawijaya, Bapak hey. Dr. Roy Hudin. Selamat siang, Mbak Alta. Welcome to the Honorable hmm. Business Relationship Manager ACCA Indonesia, Bapak Franz Elian. Good afternoon, uh, Ms. Okta. And the Honorable Our Speaker for today's event, Senior Lecturer of Lincoln University UK, Mr. James Wright, MSc ACCA. And all the Honorable and Distinguished Participants, Student of Accounting Department, Faculty of Economics and Business, Universitas Brawijaya, Class of 2018 and 2019. With this agenda will be welcoming speech and opening remarks by Head of Accounting Department, Faculty of Economics and Business, Universitas Brawijaya, and then welcoming speech and info session, ACCA by Mr. Franz Elian, and Accounting 101, Leader of Tomorrow, Question and Answer, and then Closing. Let's start with the first agenda, welcoming speech and opening remarks from our Honorable Head of Accounting Department, Faculty of, and of Economics and Business, Universitas Brawijaya, Bapak Dr. Roy Hudin, MSI AK. The screen is yours. Uh, terima kasih uh, Mbak Okta, selamat siang Bapak Franz, Good afternoon, Mr. Manis. Hai yeah. hey, Pak, Good afternoon. Uh, <coughs> siang Pak. Siang okay. semuanya. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat siang semuanya. Uh, <coughs> pertama kita mengucapkan puji syukur. Di siang ini kita masih bisa berjumpa di acara webinar ini ya dengan SCCE untuk yang kesekian kalinya mudah-mudahan dengan info session ini nanti para peserta semua ini kebanyakan mahasiswa Mbak Okta ya betul Pak mahasiswa ya mudah-mudahan nanti memperoleh informasi tentang SCCE dengan baik sehingga Uh, digunakan uh, peluang ini untuk mengembangkan karir ke depan ya saya kira ini uh, lembaga yang sangat kredibel ACCA ini ya syukur-syukur nanti dari para mahasiswa yang ikut di uh, saat ini nanti terus mengambil uh, certification begitu sehingga nanti bisa berkarir uh, 
lebih cemerlang ke masa depan. Di opening video tadi kelihatan Pak Hadi Broto ya. Jadi itu apa namanya salah satu member of SCCE. Saya kira saya kenal betul Bapak ini luar biasa karirnya. Mudah-mudahan menjadi contoh bagi para mahasiswa untuk berkarir ke masa depannya. Saya kira segitu aja Mbak Apta. Terima kasih sekali. Thank you Mr. Manis dan terima kasih Pak Franz ya. Dari saya segitu aja. Selamat berwebinar. Saya kira itu sekali lagi terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kembali ke Mbak Apta. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih Pak Roy atas uh, sambutan dan pembukaannya. Kita akan lanjutkan ke agenda kita yang kedua. The next agenda is welcoming speech and info session ACCA by Mr. Franz Elian, Business Relationship Manager of ACCA Indonesia, and also uh, Mr. Franz. Gonna give us the explanation about the OBUK pathway from LSAF. Mr. Franz, the screen is yours. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Bu Okta. So uh, before I start, probably I would like to say thank you to Brawijaya University. Uh, thank you to Mr. Roy Houdin and also Bu Furi for arranging this event and also all the participants uh, in sparing their time on the weekend with us. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, young generation, and also future leaders. I hope everyone is in good health, and I'm very excited uh, to welcome you to our webinar today. So uh, I'm just going to introduce myself. My name is Franz, and I'm the Business Relationship Manager for ACCA Indonesia. And today I will be sharing with you uh, information about ACCA. It's not a long presentation. It's uh, probably only take 10 to 15 minutes. And after that, we will continue with the explanation of OBU pathway from our ALP, which is LSAF. I'm gonna start the uh, screen sharing. Okay. So uh, I think the first thing I want to uh, share to you is about ACCA. As we are the world's uh, most forward-thinking accountancy body from the UK, uh, we have been established since the 1904. And in ACCA, we believe that accountancy is actually vital for economics to grow and prosper, which is why we work all over the world to build the profession and also make the society fairer and more transparent. Uh, currently, we have more than 233,000 fully qualified members, and on top of that, we have 536,000 future members in more than 179 countries. So they're among the best and most highly so after the accountants, and they work in every sector you can imagine. On top of that, we also have global partnership, including businesses, large and small, government, and also educational institutions. If you look at the screen, those are the uh, ACCA members around the world. Maybe some names are familiar to you. Uh, the first one is Tony Fernandez. Uh, he's the founder and CEO of Air Asia. And also we have Lorraine, we have Pak Irwan, Faith, uh, Mr. Kaba, Pina, uh, Mr. Volker, and also Ms. Rina. You can see that not all of them are in big four or, or audit firm, uh, but it's, uh, I think we can see that they hold a very uh, important or vital position in the company. So the next one, ACCA also have collaboration with Indonesian uh, national bodies. We have strong relationship with EIE and also EAP, where we continually collaborate on joint event to deliver ACCA research with experts as the speakers. Uh, especially for EIE, we have strategic partnership where EIECA member will receive nine exemptions of ACCA exams, so they can jump straight to ACCA professional strategic level. While if you are an ACCA member, you only need to do two exams. It's, uh, it's local taxation and also business law, and then you'll be able to claim the CA membership from EIE. From EAP, we also have joint events. Uh, we have the annual career fair and also co-branding for a certificate in, in business valuation. 
Yeah, I'm also proud to say that we have collaborated with many Indonesian universities, uh, both private and also uh, public, which is Brawijaya University uh, is one of them. And today we're having the info session for all of you. And we also have collaboration with employers. So as you can see on the screen, uh, these are some big brands. And in some of these employers, actually we have ACCA classes. For example, in HSBC, their manager level is compulsory to take ACCA program, and it is fully supported by the employer. As well as uh, Prudential also, they even provide additional incentive if they staff, uh, uh, if their staff whenever, uh, whenever they pass each of ACCA exam. So the next one, uh, I'm very excited to share also that we have our own career portal. So if you're familiar with a kind of job street or, or LinkedIn, then ACCA have its own job portal. It's called acaglobal.com and it's available worldwide, not only for Indonesia or for UK, but you can see all the vacancies that are being posted uh, by going to the website and also clicking on the respective region. So Indonesia is located in Asia Pacific if you uh, look at the screen, you can click on that and then drop down to Indonesia. Here is the example of a uh, uh, job vacancy in, in our uh, real world. Yeah, So we got this example from Miniso uh, where they posted for an accounting staff position. As you can see here, uh, they mentioned that actually they prefer somebody with a professional certification such as ACCA. And then another example also from Mondelez, Indonesia. They also mentioned the same about having a certification could give you an additional advantage. And in a more senior position, here you can also see that especially company prefers to hire someone with a professional qualification like ACCA. It is without a doubt that it's a big advantage you can have when applying for a job. Imagine yourself a, a being graduated from university in Indonesia. And looking at how many accounting uh, graduates in here, uh, how can you have the, uh, the advantage when you're applying for a job to make you stand out uh, in the eye of the employer? Uh, now we will see a video from our Indonesian students where they share uh, the testimonials. Saya Adisti Kinanti Baga, panggilan saya Adisti, saya berusia 22 tahun. Saya saat ini bekerja sebagai uh, staff accounting di PT Prima Perkasa Gua Bali. Uh, saya mengambil kualifikasi SCCA pada uh, saat saya berkuliah semester 5 untuk program Diploma in Accounting and Business. Menurut saya, sertifikat SCCA sama membantu saya dalam mencari kerja setelah saya lulus karena saya sekali interview Besoknya saya diekspektasi masuk kerja, sedangkan kandidat lain harus tes berikutnya. My name is Natalia Halim. My friends call me Natalia. I'm 22 years old and I'm currently working as a finance graduate trainee in PTHM Sampurna TV. So right now I'm working in the group accounting department. More specifically, I'm working now in investors relations. So basically what we do is that we provide information to investors and to analysts regarding our financial performance. I have an advanced diploma in accounting and business from ACCA and now I'm pursuing my bachelor's degree from Oxford Brookes University. ACCA qualification has helped me learn a broad range of knowledge because in my role now I'm expected to understand the financial numbers but also at the same time relating it to the business situation right now. So these numbers have to tell a story regarding what's happening in the business. In five years, I would expect to have my bachelor's degree from Oxford Brookes University and at the same time continuing the P papers. And in terms of work, I would expect to be in a more senior position in the company that I'm working at. Hi, my name is Risu Nandi Muhammad, but usually people call me Nandi. I am currently 28 years old and now working in BP or British Petroleum Indonesia as Finance Project Advisor. Now I'm doing my ACCA studies in Strategic Professional Papers. So I take ACCA qualification for at least two reasons. 
first is because it opened my career opportunities also in Indonesia and then the second one is because it teach a moral okay. curriculum for the new industrial revolution 4.0 which RPA robotic process automation and artificial intelligence will take many parts of our job. ACCA helps me progress through my career because now in my working place as multinational company it is a requirement to have international certification to apply to a global pack and roll. And now it's happened recently when I got promoted to be a finance advisor to Aberdeen and US. So it is because I put ACCA in my CV. My message for the ACCA young students are first is to always have a little extra for being an extraordinary. And for that, taking that little extra is by taking the ACCA to progress throughout your global careers. And then the second one is always to have a little extra to allocate your time every day. So by consistently having allocating your time, it will be making us easier to pass a CCA examination. My name is Alicia Ayuananda Swastika. People call me Alicia or Al. I am 21 years old and I have been an ACCA affiliate for a year now. I currently work at a pharmaceutical company that manufactures beta diet products. It's called Mahakam Beta Pharma. In my role, I handle a lot of activities actually. So they deal with uh, lots of material price uh, analysis and monitoring discounts as well. And also I help a lot in efficiencies and improvements in the manufacturing side of the company. In five years, I see myself in a more senior position, ideally in a consulting or advisory role and perhaps in a different country because I acknowledge that ACC has global recognition so I could definitely work in a different country. I choose consulting or advisory because I enjoy evaluating and analyzing business processes and their internal structure and trying to come up with ways on how to make them more efficient. I would very much enjoy helping companies by providing professional advice to help them become better in what they do. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, what can we do with ACCA letters? So I can say that you can go anywhere and do anything because the ACCA qualification is actually recognized and very, very well respected all over the world. So it's very flexible. You can work in any sector, in any industry. Uh, the second one, you can also stand out to top employers because they are actively seeking out people with ACCA qualifications and because they know you'll be trained to the highest professional and also ethical standards. And the third one also hit the ground running because it gives you the skill to make an impact in any workplace. It includes a practical experience requirement. So when you finally qualify for ACCA, you'll already have at least three years hands-on experience. Okay, so I think we have come to the most important part of my presentation. This is about the ACCA qualification and uh, here on the screen is the overview. Uh, our program actually is divided into uh, three stages from fundamental level to strategic professional. So if you look uh, in the first one, it's applied knowledge. Uh, it's an exceptional introduction to the world of finance and accounting. Uh, this will provide students with a broad understanding of essential accounting techniques. When you finish the modules in here, you will have claimed the Diploma in Accounting and Business from ACCA. And then going on to the Applied Skills level, we have six modules in this level, and you will continue building on the skills needed to become a professional accountant. It will develop the strong, broad, and practical finance skills required in the future by professional accountants in any sector and industry. Uh, I'm also happy to tell you that actually our applied skills exams are benchmarked to the UK bachelor's degree level, and our students can also gain a world-renowned degree from Oxford Brookes University, uh, which will be covered by our partner LSAF in the next session later. And the final stage is actually the strategic professional. Uh, every element in this has a real world focus. Students will be well prepared to handle the challenges they'll face in the workplace. 
So the result, we will have our students become strategic forward thinking professional accountants equipped with the unique plan of skills needed to hit the ground running. And also you can study for an master degree in professional accountancy from University of London alongside studying for this level. So when you finish these three stages, uh, you have to complete the experience, minimum three years uh, working experience, and finish the ethics and professional skills module. After that, you'll be able to qualify as an ACCA member. So when you become ACCA member, actually you can use the ACCA letters after your name. It's like uh, when you graduate from bachelor, you can use the SA, uh, or if you graduate from master, you can use, the, uh, for example, MM or MBA. So in this case, from Brawijaya, we have exemption uh, because the university has made application for accreditation. And for the first three modules, it's already exempted business and technology, management accounting, and also financial accounting. For applied skills, you will have exemption for corporate business law and also taxation. Uh, this means that if you uh, if you join ACCA qualification, you will only need to complete uh, the remaining modules. So four from applied skills and four from strategic professional. So in total eight modules, and then you'll be able to continue to your ACCA uh, qualification. But uh, how if you want to claim the diploma or advanced diploma? Uh, you can do that. Actually, for the applied knowledge, you have to take one exam uh, out of three. So the other two will be exempted. And then the other one, you take the exam after that, and then you pass, you will be able to claim the diploma. Uh, for the advanced diploma, you have to take two exams. Jadi dua exam uh, dari yang ada di empat ini. So you can, uh, sorry, empat ini harus diambil semua because uh, Brawijaya doesn't have exemption for this. So you have to take four of this and then you'll be able to claim the dip, uh, advanced diploma in accounting and business. I hope uh, that's uh, clear enough for you guys. If you have any question, feel free to put it in the chat box. And also we'll have another session about the Oxford Brooks University degree after this. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm open to any question if you have. I think the last uh, words from me is just uh, some testimonial, uh, testimonials from our ACCA members. Uh, as they say that ACCA is a globally recognized brand. Uh, being ACCA member means that you're part of a global network, uh, gave you the foundation needed to really excel in the workplace and also develop individuals, having a fantastic technical and ethical foundation and also business leadership skills. Right, this is my uh, few last pages. So this is fees exclusive for Universitas Brawijaya. If you look at the screen, there are two tables. The first one is our offer and then the second one is normal price. So the normal price is the fees that we publish on the website. So for example, if you uh, join ACCA directly on the website, you will be applied to this price. But since you're a Brawijaya student, when you apply to us, uh, because the university is already accredited, you will have this special pricing for the initial registration, only 20 pounds instead of 89, for exemptions, only 10 instead of 86 to 114. And also the subscription, you will get waived until your graduation. So these make a huge, huge saving uh, if you join ACCA. Uh, that's why I put it down there. Did you know that by enrolling to ACCA program as a Universitas Brawijaya student, you can actually save up to 75% on total fees for diploma or advanced diploma level. All right, so this is the registration procedures. Uh, you can do the online registration or you can contact LSIF, our partner, uh, to do the registration. You can choose the ACCA qualification when you submit the online form, upload documents, and also make the payment. And this is just the uh, next steps. When you complete the submission and then you'll get the confirmation email, you'll get the ACCA ID. Uh, you can also check the progress and you can also visit our website for the support video. I think if you have any question, feel free to always contact us at info.indonesia at accaglobal.com and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram where we give you the recent updates from ACCA Indonesia. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's it from my presentation. I think I'm gonna open one to two minutes for any questions. I, I see somebody raise a hand before. If you could please unmute yourself, maybe. Nobody, yeah. Okay, I think I uh, will save that uh, later in the Q&A session. Um, but Okta, I think that's the end of my presentation. Back to you, thank you. Thank you, Pak Franz. Ya, teman-teman sudah dapat gambaran uh, tentang uh, pathways-nya untuk nanti dapat uh, SCCA certified, ya. Nanti kalau misalkan ada pertanyaan bisa ditanyakan di Q&A session. Oke, okay. uh, maaf Pak Franz, ini ada yang mau dipresentasikan lagi? Uh, ya, yeah. uh, Bu Okta, I think LSIF will do the rest of presentation for OBU pathway. Disampaikan oleh okay. siapa Pak? Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bu Okta, uh, uh, and also Bu Kuri and uh, Pak Roydin for allowing us uh, this uh, time to share about the ACCA qualification. Uh, my name is Manish uh, Gidwani. I'm an oh, uh, ACC. You. you can hear me? That's clear, Pak. Okay. Sure. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm an ACCA uh, member myself since 2001. And, uh, you know, a lot of people think of uh, certification uh, in Indonesia at the moment. They think, imagine that this is, this is uh, very difficult, very challenging. And I, I, you know, I'm not ready for this. I'll do it later. Yeah, nanti saja, you know. A lot of people think like that, but I've seen uh, our professionals who are already at the manager level and vice president level uh, struggling to find time because now they are in a situation that if they want to reach the top position, uh, mereka harus uh, doing certification karena peers mereka secara regional, secara global, uh, ketika dilakukan mapping, they have to have a, a competency uh, which is certified with an independent uh, body, you know? So uh, then they find struggling to find. So if you start your journey, lebih uh, awal, I think that's the best way of ketika uh, anda lulus, you will have a bet, uh, comparatively, kalau saya dapat CV of uh, bachelor's degree and also a certification, uh, I will take somebody with the, with the certification. Yeah, so uh, my I want to say that ACCA uh, dan certification itu adalah untuk orang-orang yang not only untuk mendapatkan uh, entry level jobs yeah but also to that once you get an entry level job you how fast you can progress up and get leadership ya yeah? hari ini kan talking about leadership ya yeah? so how fast you can get to the leadership nah apa aja yang dibutuhkan oleh leaders ya yeah? uh, leaders itu does not only focus on satu jurusan, like maybe your mind is, saya jurusan akuntansi, I'm a management student, I'm an IT student, I'm a law student. Yeah, but uh, a person who's at the leader, itu dia harus memikirkan the whole business process. Bagaimana saya bisa berpartner in all the departments, yeah, in HR, in production, in purchasing, in marketing. Nah, si peran finance itu not sitting as a department and uh, doing finance work. Yeah, tapi doing, you are becoming a business partner. Jadi, come out of your mind bahwa I only want to do accounting karena saya suka accounting. Uh, and accounting itu hanya adalah reporting. Remove that mindset karena the world has changed. Yeah, the role has changed. Yang sedang terjadi adalah Anda menjadi bermitra di setiap divisi. Uh, that's how you will work. Yeah, you are, you are, you are everywhere. You are also di depan. Yeah, jadi I... I'm glad that some of your some of the students itu uh, open your uh, videos and be seen ya karena orang finance sekarang itu nggak bisa tidak seen. 
ada di satu corner dan preparing reports ya you have to be seen you have to be able to communicate uh, apa yang menjadi concern dari perusahaan apa yang menjadi strategi dulu kita dibilang oh, kita cuma reporting value but now we should also be creating value ya jadi Uh, peran in creating value in the company is real, strategic, and you're expected there. Jadi leaders itu harus tahu semuanya, harus tahu the whole business process, harus bermitra in all, uh, including teknologi. Yeah. So that's where ACCA certification uh, comes in. Nah, peran saya di Indonesia sebagai uh, chair of uh, Indonesia member panel adalah untuk creating a community Uh, di Indonesia, uh, karena secara global tadi Frans sudah jelaskan there is 277 ribu members globally, artinya ketika Anda lulus, Anda pakai gelar itu you immediately have a family of 277 ribu family, so Anda kalau mau berbisnis atau berkarir di negara di Eropa, di Kanada, di Itali, you always have members who are willing to help you out, karena itu menjadi networking community yang sangat strong ya, so You know, many people talk about industry 4.0, 5.0 is all about community. Which community are you part of? Which network are you part of? Jadi uh, teman-teman di sini don't think about uh, which degree I have, tapi think about which community yang I want to enter into. Jadi ini adalah suatu uh, komunitas ya, yang akan di uh, you have access to. Yeah, and next. Ya, yeah, so with that presence, Mr. Yes, maybe you can just go to the uh, ini, 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 like for example yang Pak Franz already jelaskan mengenai uh, your cross membership between various bodies, ya. Yeah? Uh, if you want to berkarir di Australia, you can do see Australia and New Zealand. Canada has the same uh, mutual recognition. Malaysia, UAE, Hong Kong. Open yourself to global uh, network. Next. Nah ini sudah dijelaskan, tapi satu hal yang saya mau tekankan adalah ACCA itu in Indonesia relevansi di secara lokal adalah ketika Anda menjadi ACCA member, you also uh, bisa dapat kesempatan menjadi CA Indonesia, ya uh, Chartered Accountant Indonesia. Kalau biasanya kan Anda harus ikut ujian, tujuh ujian dari IAI, ya, Ikatan Akuntan Indonesia ini, karena Anda sudah mengikuti jalur ACCA, You don't have to do that exam karena sudah ada mutual recognition. Selama Anda mengikuti Indonesian pajak and Indonesian law, uh, Anda sudah bisa qualify to go through becoming a CA Indonesia. Yeah, and itu adalah amazing amazing benefit karena Anda satu jalur, rutenya, tapi sudah mengikuti beberapa uh, award. Yeah. Next. Ini, ini, ini we, can, we can move on. I want to focus on the network availability-nya. Ya, ini yang menjadi konjeri ketika Anda menjadi ACC student, ACC affiliate di Indonesia and uh, member, you we will be giving you access untuk uh, capacity building karena di Indonesia we have lot of uh, workshops to make sure you are in the latest technology. Anda mau belajar Python, mau belajar data analytics, mau belajar blockchain, mau belajar uh, the latest digital transformation. Uh, itu everything is uh, contained with our capacity building uh, initiatives di Indonesia as well as regionally and globally. Also next benefit adalah employability. Ya, yeah? Anda uh, mau berkarir inside uh, uh, in Indonesia dalam network yang sudah ada. Tadi I told you the focus is network. So Anda sudah ada approved employers network di mana not only doing maga but you are doing three years of work placement. Ya, jadi kita doing placement for you, LSIF, helping you masuk ke dalam perusahaan-perusahaan itu dan mendapatkan real work experience. Ya, Jadi Anda tidak graduate sebagai fresh graduate, but you graduate sebagai experience graduate. So that's why I said, ini desainnya adalah bukan untuk making you become entry level graduate, nanti lulus dapatnya gaji UMR, you know, or Anda menjadi management trainee, no. Ini for you to climb up the ladder and become a leader faster uh, than the than the rest. Karena you're equipped with that uh, network. Networknya sudah ada, sudah menjadi experience uh, graduate, and uh, we will help you with that employability, not only Indonesia, but also regionally 
and also global employment opportunity. So think about that first. Terus ketiga adalah networkingnya ya. Tadi saya bilang network dengan CEOs. Jadi if you're thinking, oh saya pengen menjadi startup entrepreneur, memiliki ide yang cemerlang. Ya yeah, of course you need network, you need funders, you need investors, ya kan? So uh, we will give you the network to the network seperti network CEOs, network CFO, CFOs, ya. Yeah. Network to the young members network. So it's not about your apa yang anda tahu, what you know, and what is your skill, but also who you know. Yeah. So that that network size sebagai CC members selama uh, lebih dari 15 tahun ini, I feel one of the key benefit menjadi member adalah networking opportunity. Saya bisa have friends almost uh, all over the world and end up doing business with them and having companies uh, almost in so many countries. Yeah, I have a company in Malaysia, in Singapore, uh, in Indonesia, you know, and and we are I'm, we are in the process of doing more. So uh, networking, yeah. So tiga hal, yeah, employability, advocacy, and networking. Uh, next, ini nanti akan. I just want to show you quickly aja, Mister. If you can go quickly because I know there's a next speaker. So we'll have sent uh, uh, some of the members uh, who are uh, already part of Indonesia member panel. Pak Ahmad Dibrothadi Brotha tadi Pak Roydin mentioned as a senior a successful mentor to IMP. Yeah, uh, ini adalah uh, entrepreneurs. Jadi don't think that this certification is only for you to become a professional uh, accountant in one company. No, even entrepreneurs. Okay, when you are going to, be to become a professional entrepreneur, Uh, you know exactly how to do risk management, how to do planning, how to do investor relation. Marcelino is a very good example. He has two startup companies and has his own uh, uh, company, has his own uh, uh, business empire. Yeah, uh, Mr. Viraj is in EY. Alessandro is in Saipem uh, in uh, Italy uh, and also in Indonesia. Uh, Pak Yoga is in Ansen Yang Indonesia doing merger and acquisition. Uh, Pak Anto is in HSBC. Mr. Aditya is in Uh, Konoko Phillips, so you see the range. Yeah, uh, Pa Johannes is in Kraft Heinz, uh, Mr. Arif is in BTPN, Miss Novita is in Mitra Adi Perkasa. All of these members, ini yang saya menunjukkan orang-orang sini can become your potential uh, future uh, bosses. Karena kita memberikan prioritas. Like you know, you go to bank, anda adalah priority customer. So ini men- anda menjadi priority customer karena ACCA members ini akan memberikan priority kepada ACCA graduates and members from our uh, university partner. So they will be the one uh, recruiting you. Yeah? So sudah ada network di Indonesia uh, untuk uh, giving priority to our ACCA members rather than going through a regular channel. Se- seperti di Henkel, ada position for becoming a finance controller. Ini membernya ada di, ada di komunitas kita gitu. Yeah, HSBC, yeah. So asset liability capital management uh, in BTPN. So you are already in that community. That's my main main uh, point. Mr. just can go to the OBU uh, part. Yeah. Now inside the OBU, tadi sudah dijelaskan oleh uh, Pak Franz bahwa uh, University Brawijaya sudah accredited. And then only need to do four more uh, modules, which is performance management, uh, financial reporting, auditing and uh, assurance, and financial management. Okay, empat modules, and then anda tambah lagi dengan research and analysis uh, project, yang which is like your skripsi uh, sebesar 7.500 words plus 2.000 words adalah untuk skill and learning uh, statement, and then you submit that to Oxford Brookes uh, University, karena Begitu Anda mendaftar ke ACC, Anda automatically actually have an option to daftar sebagai Oxford Brookes University student. Now you want to know that kalau Anda mau daftar langsung ke Oxford Brookes University, belum an, belum tentu Anda bisa diterima di sana. Karena uh, you may not have met all the requirements, ya, yeah, their academic requirements. Tapi karena ini ada rute dari ACC yang sudah di-embed, artinya you have an automatic access to becoming an Oxford Brookes uh, University uh, student. And artinya apa? Ketika anda lulus, you will lulus as an Oxford Brookes University graduate. That's why you are invited to join the graduation ceremony yang diadakan oleh Oxford Brookes University. So, so you 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 can imagine that anda belajar di Brawijaya, uh, doing all the studies here. Examsnya controlled by British Council, and you are able to graduate as if seolah-olah you are a full-time uh, 
uh, student there and the bachelor's degree awardnya tidak mention Indonesia, tidak mention jarak jauh, tidak mention uh, anda ada di LSI atau di Brawijaya. It is as if you studied there. So uh, itu opportunity memegang gelar dari BSc from Oxford Brookes University is a huge advantage. Karena di Indonesia, uh, you know, you have Brawijaya bachelor's degree plus you have BSc from uh, OBU plus you have ACCA. Uh, title itu gives you the best of academic and best of professional menjadi gabung menjadi satu kesatuan so that's the visualization ya yeah? uh, seperti ini bachelor of science uh, bsc uh, in applied accounting from uh, obu ya yeah? so think about 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 that ya yeah? belum lagi mengenai biaya ya yeah? if you go there to uk uh, you will be spending Uh, almost uh, 1,3 m or 1,5 m plus living cost and everything yeah so that's one yeah so that's about obu after that uh, under doing acca route and and you also will be getting chartered accountant title yeah so you have in you know acca and uh, ca jadi rutenya sudah embedded yeah so you don't have to do multiple studies satu rute tapi semua sudah di embed ada obu route ada ca route and also if you say Uh, sir, I want to go to other country and migrate there. For example, I want to migrate to Canada, and I want to study uh, study there and have a potential permanent residence or, or or you know migrate to Canada. So with University Canada West, you also can get uh, MBA uh, because they are ACCA partners also, and then you can get postgraduate working permit, and then you get a PR in Canada. And the same similar program is also in Australia in Sydney in Macquarie University. So. Again, uh, same route is already planned out. Sudah ada route yang sudah ada. You use that route to get the multiple awards. Ya, jadi anda akan memiliki gelar uh, sarjana from Brawijaya, BSc from OBU, ACCA, CA, and then MSc from University of London or MBA from UC, depending on which route that you uh, take for the master's uh, level. Ya, yeah? uh, next. This is how the awards look like, yeah. And also uh, the royal title, the Chartered Certified Accountant. The Indonesia, if you search the Kementerian Oxford Brookes University, sudah mendapatkan uh, pen, penyat. I, I will have difficulty saying this. Yeah, penyataraan ya, Bu Okta. Is that what you say there? Penyataraan. Penyataraan. penyataraan right. Yeah. So yeah. they 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 have an equivalency yeah, of uh, sarjana in Indonesia. So and then uh, Oxford Brookes University ini adalah student kita uh, Amina dia ikut graduation ceremony in the UK. So bayangan saya adalah uh, Bu Furi Okta Bu, Bu Okta and Pak Aroidin go together with Brawijaya students and join together with the graduation of students uh, in Brawijaya but also in UK together yeah. So that's what I'm uh, imagining we can do together. Yeah, uh, next Um, Simran, yeah, she studied there, graduated there, so parents are very proud of them. Karena they come back as foreign graduates. Uh, Alicia, sekarang ada di EY, also uh, uh, Farkanda, uh, yeah. uh, ini korban pandemic, ya, yeah. karena kayak pandemic nggak bisa ikut graduation. <laughs> ini Miss Eliana still managed to attend, ya, yeah. di kerja sekarang di Shopee. And, uh, yes, Next. Next. Yep. Next. Miss Yes, you want to explain this part? Okay. Uh, sure, sir. Um. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Thank you, Sir Manis. Uh, for the time. So as I mentioned, uh, by Sir Manis and also by. Uh, Pak Franz regarding the program for uh, Brawijaya University students. So there will be a total uh, four modules from the skills level ACCA. It's a performance management, financial reporting, uh, audit and assurance, and financial management, and also this one research analysis project to get the BSc in applied accounting from Oxford Brookes University. Uh, so for the total regular fee, uh, our listed price Uh, for another university, it's around 112 uh, million rupiah 
So, but we make this uh, arrangement for uh, Brawijaya University students who wants to join this program. Uh, the total fee uh, become it's a uh, fifty four uh, six hundred. So it's like a, there is a additional uh, sorry uh, there is a, a discount special fee uh, around fifty something fifty million something. So from one hundred twelve million become uh, fifty four uh, six hundred uh, thousand. So and then also for students who register uh, before twenty second November twenty twenty one. Uh, the students can get another uh, discount. So from 54 million 600 become 51 uh, million uh, rupiah. So that's the arrangement from uh, for uh, Brawijaya University students. So how it will be uh, the, the timeline arrangement for this program. So this program will be take um, around, uh, okay, Yes, uh, I what? think you, you, you missed out about the installments, right? Okay, sure. Okay. I know the figure the figure may look uh, a little worrying, yeah. but you know, I'm I tadi saya sudah bilang bahwa compare that for you going to UK langsung where you're spending sekitar 1,2 M3M and yeah, 51, tapi don't worry, we will have uh, installment schemes for you. Uh, Miss Tia yeah. tadi mau mention apa tadi? Okay, so from if if you uh, register before 22nd November 2021 and then the fee become 51 million rupiah, there will be an installment scheme, a uh, maximum of uh, six uh, times uh, installments. Yeah. So sure. uh, this 51 maybe uh, divided by six, around nine, nine million something. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, if there are any other concerns, can any we are just trying to help the university with regard to financing part for the students? Can we all want to you to graduate? Jadi silakan mengajukan uh, that part uh, in terms of installment. Uh, can you assist in any other process? Can any includes the whole process? Yeah, ACC exam fee, OBU mentoring, OBU submission. It's all in thing. Makanya it's sudah combined. That's why the figure looks big. So, but we will. It, we, we, are, we are happy to arrange uh, installment scheme for you according to your financial needs. Yeah? But if focusnya adalah you uh, looking at uh, apa yang you can get from there and the kind of community you are inside. Yeah? Uh, that's all, Ms. Tias, from your side. Uh, okay, so I just want to share also regarding the timeline for uh, students uh, uh, for this uh, program, sir. So we have planned to open the, the class in January 2022. So total module, it will be four, means that uh, for one year, we will have these two semester. So January to June 2022 for two modules and July 2022 to December 2022 also will be two modules. Uh, so it already one year thing. And then for the submission research and assist project, because in one year, uh, there was a two uh, twice in a year, it's May and also November. So we have planned to do the submission for research and assist project uh, in May 2023. So the total uh, timeline for this program around uh, one year, uh, uh, five months. One yeah. year, five months. Artinya mereka ketika mulai dari semester lima, yeah, artinya sudah bisa within semester seven, they're already able to finish this. Ya. Jadi bersamaan dengan lulus dari Brawijaya gitu. Kira-kira yeah. waktunya, estimasinya seperti itu. Betul, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. later on, maybe uh, if you have any questions, I will also put my, my number in the chat box later on. So, if you guys want to have like maybe a small info session, uh, I can make it. Uh, for uh, Brawijaya University for the details program yeah. that we prepare for Brawijaya University students, yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Thank you, Ms. Tias. And yeah, uh, Bu Okta, mungkin itu dari uh, kami penjelasan uh, singkatnya. Uh, nanti untuk ada detail questions or chat, uh, silakan chat so we can answer uh, apapun uh, yang students ingin uh, uh, tanyakan. Yeah, thank you, Bu. Thank you, Mr. Manis and Bu Tias. Uh, silakan teman-teman mahasiswa uh, ini bisa di screenshot informasinya untuk nanti bisa kontak ke LSAF terkait dengan misalkan ada pertanyaan tentang ACCA.
Oke, okay, silakan. Oke, okay. thank you, Bu Tias. Great insight and explanation for the participant about the ICCA. We get a lot of benefit from the program. We can get the BSc uh, title, ACCA, and also the CA. They have a Okay, let's move to the next agenda. And now we come to the main topic of this event. Accounting 101, Leader of Tomorrow, it will be delivered by our honorable speaker, Mr. James Wright from Lincoln University. Hi, Mr. James. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, very good presentation there, Manish, as well. Thank you very much. Really good, insightful stuff. And uh, thank you so much for having me today and uh, for the invitation. Okay, Mr. James, the screen is yours. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll share with you on my screen so you can you can you can see my my presentation. It's just loading up now. So uh, I hope you've all got a pen and paper at the ready. There'll be plenty of things that uh, you'll be able to get down that will definitely help you out. But uh, can you can you hear me OK? And can you see my screen OK? Clear, clear, very clear, James. Super stuff. Thank you very much, uh, Manish, on there. But uh, first of all, everyone, you, you'll first of all be thinking, who on earth is this person on my screen that is now speaking to me? Well, good morning from the UK. My name is James. I work as a program leader and lecturer at the University of Lincoln. And as Manish was saying earlier about ACCA, I'm a qualified ACCA member myself on that. So first of all, I'd like to say a warm welcome to all of the students who are joining us from around the world. And we've got nearly 300 people on this call today. And I'd just like to say again, thank you so much to the ACCA Indonesia team, because we'll be putting on in today's webinar talking about my ACCA journey. Who exactly are ACCA? I mean, you've, you've heard things already, but I also completed my ACCA Leaders of Tomorrow program, which when I first started studying ACCA, I didn't even know about these sort of things. Or you might be looking at ACCA as this global organization, which it is, and, it, and it's huge. We've got hundreds of thousands of members but you can actually have a real impact like myself within the actual professional body. And everyone on the call today, you're more than welcome to ask any questions and I'll be answering at the end of the session as well. So if you've got a pen and paper, I'm gonna go through some key resources, things I've learned from my journey, and I'd highly recommend that you take away from today. So for anyone who's been to one of my sort of webinars or my classes before, I tend to try and keep the, the words to a minimum and the photos to a maximum. So you can actually see the progress and the story of my actual ACCA journey, how I was an actual university student. So I went down the university route and gained some exemptions. I then went and worked and did a placement out in um, North, Ameri um, North Carolina, sorry, in America, before coming back to the UK, where I undertook an ACCA study contract. So that was where I actually had some of my ACCA fees for examinations and tuition paid for on there. And then after I qualified as an ACCA member, I kindly got invited to come back to the University of Lincoln to be a lecturer, where I teach now ACCA accredited modules to students from first years all the way up to MBA. So if you have any questions on the particular modules, feel free to let me know. And the journey itself can seem a long, long road, but you'll be sitting there today going, oh my word, I'd have to do this exam and that exam. And these are the sort of things that for anyone who's a football fan out there, I'm a big Leicester City fan, and that was me in our old office back in, oh gosh, that had been probably 2015. And then we went on to win the league in 2016 on there, lovely year. But it was a case of there were so many ups and downs, bumps in the road throughout my ACCA journey. And the key things to get down were the time management, balancing if you're maybe maybe if you're studying full time or if you've got a part time job on top of it, other family commitments. You've really got to look after yourself because it all helps in actually how you're actually efficient in your studying and then getting the results that you want. Because I'm quite open to say that I unfortunately failed advanced taxation and I unfortunately failed advanced audit assurance. And there are some low days in my ACCA journey where you go, oh, my word, is it actually right for me? And then I had to take a look at myself, regroup, uh, speak with other ACCA um, members and people who I worked with. That's what I, I completely agree with what Manish was saying earlier about reaching out to the ACCA global network 
to find out, say, what was my best revision technique to help me get through. And then on the right hand side was one of my study buddies, Mike, who I'd highly recommend that you get involved with the ACCA global community where we went to university together. We progressed through our studies together. And that was where we got invited to the ACCA um, uh, ceremony in London, where we had a lovely celebratory drink um, uh, meeting other qualified members there as well. So I'm just going to keep it short and sweet because you've probably heard quite a lot today about it. But ACCA is the largest um, professional accountancy body within the world. It was founded in 1904. I was uh, I'm a qualified member myself. And to be honest with you, on the webinar today, I speak with people around the world in different business areas or maybe in marketing or advertising. You say, oh, I'm a qualified accountant. And I, I mention ACCA. And even if they're not from the accounting background, they go, people say to me, oh, I've heard of that because my friend's a qualified accountant and he went through the route and he or she is doing really well for it. But I have heard of it. Um, so it's really, really pleasing to hear that it's such a globally recognized or uh, professional body that I can benefit myself from. And you can as well today if you decide to go for it. Because one of the key things that I always used to look at when I was a student was the employment opportunities. And once you get ACCA qualified or maybe when you're starting your first few exams, you can see some of the employers down there where qualified ACCA members currently work around the world in a variety of different sectors from you've got small SMEs on there, local businesses. I've got friends who've gone into financial planning, public and private sector. It's completely up to you. But it also links into the other things talked about today about entrepreneurial that you could actually take your ACCA skills from all of the examinations and experience, so financial reporting, taxation, and apply that to setting up your own business, which I know a lot of ACCA members do. And this is where we touched on it before as to, well, we've got over 200,000 members now, and they've actually had, um, we've been ambitious and we've been teaching people about ACCA and accounting and, and, and developing the actual structure of the qualification for over 116 years and over over half a million students now in nearly 180 countries so it's only growing ever further because accountants will always be in demand in the future i always get asked that question do we really need accounting in the future well one in five um, ceos in the uk for FTSE 100 companies are qualified accountants these are the qualified individuals who run the organizations now the first free resource i would highly recommend you go and check out after this webinar if you want to write down on a pen and paper in front of you or on your phone if you want to take a photo you've got jobs.accaglobal.com and wherever you're based around the world tuning into today's webinar or if you're watching it on record you can actually put in your actual address or the location maybe where you want to think about working in and it will tell you on there the available jobs that ACCA uh, approved employers or uh, employees who want to advertise on ACCA's careers jobs board. And that could be, as you can see on the screen, everything from manufacturing, you've got oil and gas, financial services. But the key thing here is have a look at the skills you would have to develop in order to get into those roles that you want to go into. That's the key thing there. Utilize it as a free resource and make the most of it on there. I wish I'd have done that earlier on because and this is where you get insights as to, well, where do the ACCA members, qualified members around the world, actually work? And it's so pleasing to see, as you can see on the screen, that we've got CEOs, we've got CFOs, we've got directors on there. Um, we've got people who set up their own businesses. But these are qualified individuals who take on responsibility Monday to Friday within their organization. And they are the key decision makers that help the businesses tick. And that could be you, whatever field you may be interested in. So it could be everything from like, into uh, mechanics, you could be into the car industry, you could be into fintech, you could be into blockchain. The, the list goes on, but your skills will be in demand. But then we all, we have the, the technical skills in ACCA from audit and assurance, taxation, you've got the strategic papers, you'll be picking different option papers. I wanted to introduce you today to a program which, when I was an ACCA student, I had no idea about. And these are the skills I developed on the ACCA Leaders of Tomorrow program that are defined in a variety of different ways. But in the UK, we tend to refer to them as soft skills on here. And the photo in the middle is the actual group of 20 of us from different employers throughout the UK 
there was a process that you had to go through to submit your application. And we got put on the program, taking us through month by month, developing soft skills that, yes, they took into account the, the, the calculations within, a, uh, within ACCA and applying them into our skills. But the soft skills are everything from communication to leadership and the opportunities putting yourself out of your comfort zone. That is the first key thing that this course really taught me about was you've got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. That was one of the key things I took away from the program, if you want to write it down. That on the right hand side there, we've got, uh, you might recognize some faces on there. We have uh, Claire Benison, who's the head of ACCA UK. And if you were to ask me, oh, James, you will meet the head of ACCA UK, I would not have not have dreamt of that in a million years working together and in the middle you'll probably recognize Helen Brand on there she's the chief executive of, of ACCA collaborating on different projects and developing the professional body to make it more inclusive for members and developing that core global um, network that yourself can uh, benefit as a student so if you want to take a screenshot or if you want to take a photo on the screen, these are the key areas that we developed on the programme, as you can see on the screen here, everything from public speaking to recording. We have networking sessions. We have guest speakers that come in. And these are the six key areas that I really wanted to highlight today that, yes, you're going to have to be technically competent, understanding the key areas that we talked about from financial accounting to management accounting. But key upcoming things that professionals need to get better at from social media at the top there and developing your personal brand and I like to think about that to say well where can you add the most value in the market in your particular sector so it doesn't matter whether that's fintech or if that's uh well, it could be investing it could be wealth management whatever sector you go into developing that personal brand to say you are the person to go to and you add value to your um, actual clients in that particular way. Public speaking and media skills, as you can see from the webinar today and the, the uh, presentation I delivered there at, at the London HQ, these are becoming more critical skills for the leaders of tomorrow. And if you've got aspirations to become a manager, CEO, director of a company, you will have to get better at public speaking and media skills and the communication to others. Think of it always, well, how are they seeing it from their shoes? How is that message getting across and what is the outcome you're looking for? Networking, if you're not on uh, LinkedIn, I would highly, highly recommend it if you want to get that down in your notes where you can reach out to ACCA and other professionals around the world. I do it all the time and you'll be surprised what messages you'll get back and how much people are willing to help in the ACCA community. Leadership skills where people skills, especially since um, COVID-19 and the pandemic have come into play as to how we take an organization forward. And that also comes into the strategic thinking of long term on there. So strategic thinking is three to five years in my eyes, whereas we have operational thinking is on a day to day basis. And it's this challenging of your thinking and developing your mind, your self-development, which is on a, a day by day basis in my eyes, where a good day can lead to a good week and then weeks build onto months and then months build onto a fantastic year. And once you get into goal setting, which we'll talk about later on, you will see massive improvements. But one way of I look about it is every day I write down one thing that if I do that one thing today, that will be a successful day. OK, so I'll be honest with you on this webinar today. I applied for an internal position at the University of Lincoln to be um, a, a lead for our European connections and partners on there. So it was a long application, took me a few hours, but at the end of the day, I went to myself, I'm really glad I did that application. I said no to other things, but you're starting to prioritize what you want to do. And if you start applying that in your day-to-day -day and your career, you will, you will progress so much and use it as a stepping stone. It's a complete game changer for me that I learned on the program and changing my mindset on there for self-development. And then it's all coming down to um, something that Tim Ferriss refers to as Q&A. And we're not talking about questions and answers. We're talking about questions that you asked at the Leaders of Tomorrow program to people who know more about it than I do. But then the A is action. That is the key thing. There will always be days, and I can tell you now, we all have them where you get up, you're a bit tired, 
a bit lethargic, probably had a long day, and you've just got to pull yourself together and go, right, what are we going to work through today? And this is where some of the skill sets that I've developed in the ACCA uh, Leaders of Tomorrow program. So one of my students, Adol, in the centre there, he was one of the top uh, undergraduates uh, under 30 within the UK and got invited down to the ACCA headquarters in, in London. We also have one of my students, Ellie, on the right hand side there, who got on an ACCA uh, internship within our finance department. And for the, through being proactive with the actual professional body, they came into the University of Lincoln and gave a few workshops, which was fantastic. But if you'd have asked me four years ago, James, you'll be doing YouTube videos like you can see on the left hand side there talking to a camera, I wouldn't have believed you. But these are the things where I was really uncomfortable being on camera, whereas now I'm on camera every day for it. And just to give you a little insight as to how globally recognized ACCA is, that photo of me on the right hand side in the bottom is in Germany at a football match where there were two, two young guys, um, Tom and Ben, who were, who were actually from Hull University and York University. And we got chatting and talked about accounting. It came up. I said, oh, I'm an ACCA qualified member. And they were both studying for their ACCA, which is absolutely crazy that you can go to a football match in Germany and <laughs> meet people there. And this is where you start to, and if you want to get this written down, develop a growth set is the next key thing that you can either have a fixed mindset, but the Leaders of Tomorrow program helps you develop a growth mindset that you're willing to try new opportunities, really push the boundary and be really proactive. That is the key thing on there. One of the key aspects of highly effective people in the, in the book is, is the first rule and first lesson is be proactive. So these are opportunities that have been generated from my students on here through guest speakers that now want to collaborate with us to uh, working with ACCA more uh, and the University Business Challenge. It's just that little mindset that is just that day by day. They lead on to week by week go goals and then they grow into that was a really good month. And then you have a fantastic year on there. So it's just to give you an insight as to this would have never happened if I hadn't been proactive. And it's just to actually the next big thing is to give back as to, well, the webinar today to share my experiences with you. We've got the Q&A at the end that I can run you through all of my um, <laughs> different failures and, and how things have progressed. But you'll be sat there thinking, oh, I might be just doing my first ACCA exam. ACCA is a massive organization. How could I actually have an impact on that? Well, the, 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 one of the photos in the middle there is Leo Lee, who's the president of ACCA, where once you become a qualified member, as Manish will know, is that we have a wall where they place all of the members' names on that wall. And I was down at the ACCA headquarters. We got invited to do a network panel down there to help develop the ethics and professional skills module. And you can go and meet the president of ACCA at the time. And they had a lovely photo. But it's the collaborations and, and new networks that you can generate from it. It's not just a case of you get the qualification and that is it. It just opens so many doors and it can be a passport for you to go and work in any country around the world through the most globally recognized professional body. So what does the future hold on here? So we've talked about leadership and strategic thinking. Those are your personal skills that you need to be developing. So maybe you want to join something like a Toastmasters group or join a working group where you'll be asked to do presentations and take responsibility. Technology is going to be advancing, already is to, to, that, uh, to that degree as well, where um, key things to get written down would be blockchain technology on there, artificial intelligence, big data, you're going to have cryptocurrencies coming to the forefront. These are key factors that if you want to go and work in the technology space, data analytics, I'd be developing skills on that. But have a look on the ACCA's website where they've got um, strategic and insight reports that if a student came to me who's had a look at those insight reports at an interview and was able to talk about it and discuss it and say, this would add value to your organization and this is what I think to it, I would highly recommend that. That would show real initiative and proactiveness from a, from a potential person who wants to work at an organization. That would really enhance your professional brand. Again, networking, linking into that through sites like LinkedIn. And as you can see on the side here, putting myself out of my comfort zone that I started a YouTube channel about ACCA 
last year because I used to, honestly, I used to carry my books, a bit like you guys when you would be starting your studying, in bags when I used to move houses. And it was one of those niggles, and you'll have this in your mind right now. You're thinking, I really want to start that. I really want to do it. Well, Nike have got the best phrase out there in the world. Just do it, honestly. Since I've started that, the network has just erupted. And now that, ha that, that actual YouTube site helps out um, accounting students around the world. And this is what has led to the collaborations today. So feel free to check out um, my Instagram as well. If you're watching it now, you, you can take a screenshot or take a photo. Be sure to tag us in and then we can keep in touch after the session as well. But at the bottom, five or two to get written down or take a photo, self-development and people skills. People skills are so underrated. How you communicate with one another, showing empathy to your colleagues. So I always think about it as to you never know what someone else has been through that day. So you could walk into the office, you might be one of your friends, and it'd be a case of really starting to understand and harness just the power of um, showing empathy to one another and going, oh my word, what happens if they're actually not having a good day? I mean, there are so many employees at the University of Lincoln, on average, one or two per day are going to walk into the office and be having a bad day. So it's how you deal with that and how you react to that situation. And self-development is all about challenging the way you think and defining what you, you see as your actual happiness and what you're fulfilled by, in my eyes. So tomorrow we'll be doing uh, a 10K run as well in the rain in the UK. Um, it, you know, I don't want to do it. Sometimes you get up in the morning and you just go, no, I don't fancy it today, but I enjoy it. That's the thing. I know at the end of the run, um, I'll be there with all my colleagues and friends and stuff, and it'll be a really good luck. Um, so there'll be little things that you'll have in your mind today that I really should go and read that book. I really should try that sport or I really should try set up that business or enterprise, whatever it may be. Honestly, if you need any help or support, drop a message to all the team here and they'll be more than happy to help you. Because at the end of the day, you've just got to visualize and set that goal. So this is what I do on a day to day basis. This is the University of Lincoln Cathedral. That is one of my old students on there called Hui, who was a financial management lecturer from, the, uh, from Vietnam, and he graduated with his PhD in financial management and capital structure. He, I remember sitting down with him and he was there worried that he would never get to his end goal of graduating and doffing his cap. And I was there at graduation with his parents, but a year or two before I said to him, you will make it, do not worry about it. Let's get a plan going, let's plan the work, and then we work the plan. That is the key thing on there. And I took that photo for his dad and that photo now sits in his family home in Hanoi and he's super, super proud. So you'll have a goal there today, maybe completing your ACCA, maybe getting an internship. So have a think about it. Reach out to any of the team who we've spoken today and they could be the difference on there. So you've got to know me a bit more today and everything is, well, as you know, I've got to run tomorrow, but it's, it's always a marathon, not a sprint on these sort of things especially with your ACCA studies, your, your career, trying to work out what you enjoy on there. But four key things, if you want to get them jotted down, could change your life from today as to think about your time being your most precious asset and raising your standards on that. Once I heard that phrase from Tony Robbins all those years ago, I just went, oh my word, I'm, I'm not willing to settle for less. I'm not willing to actually just be comfortable on this. I'm willing to put in the time and effort because that is what I want out of my career to help my, help my family out to, uh, and, and to make myself proud of it. So these are the things that will be the long hours, the long days, but they are worth it in the end. Manish talks about it at the start about asking for help and the ACCA community. Feel free to drop a message to any of your local mentors. And it can be a bit scary going into your first exam. Don't be afraid to fail. You, it's something new for everyone. I failed a couple of exams and they are tricky. That's the key thing. But it's not how you, how you, you, you take the hits. It's the case of how you actually dust yourself off and get back down. So Les Brown always says, if, if, if you fall down, make sure you fall back. Because if you fall back, you can look up. But if you can look up, then you can get up on there. And that's the thing with setting goals that write it down on a piece of paper today. If you write down your goal, you're so much more likely to achieve it 
put it up on your wall, something on those lines, keep it to yourself, or if you want to share it with friends and family, and that can be the difference in, we've got two months left of the year, maybe set yourself a goal, what you want to do by the end of the year. It could be to do with fitness, it could be, do, could be to do with health, it could be to do with money, it could be to do with education, whatever it may be. Set yourself a goal and then go for it from there. And I trust me on it, it will make the new year a heck of a lot better. Well, finally, I, I have to say, as ever, a massive thank you to Hani, Franz, and all of the ACCA Indonesia team and the partners who have joined us today. All of the stuff that goes on in the background, all of the organization, I really appreciate all the support and to all of the students who have attended today. It's fantastic we can organize these events. And you've got all my, if you go onto Facebook or Instagram, um, YouTube, whatever, if you put it my name on there with ACCA on the end, feel free to get in touch. And uh, I'm more than happy to support and you can take advantage of all the free resources because I try and help out as many students as I can around the world. But thank you for listening. Um, I know we've already got a couple of things going in the chat already. So I've got one message on there. Um, so feel free to write any questions you've got in the chat and I'll be more than happy to answer absolutely any you've got about ACCA, about accounting, um, anything you have in mind. And uh, yes, we can have a little Q&A at the end on that. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you soon. Okay, thank you, Mr. James. What an interesting topic, right? Uh, by the uh, explanation about Mr. James, Mr. Franz and Mr. Manish, we know that ACCA not only provide the certification program, the accounting program, but they also have uh, another program. One of them is Leader of Tomorrow. Okay. Dear all participants, if you ha guys have any question or about leadership or about the SCCA pathways or other SCCA programs, you can raise your hand or you can write uh, down your question on the chat box. Silakan. Kalau misalkan ada yang mau ditanyakan, oke. Okay. Ada Muhammad Aldi. Ya, yeah, uh, thank you so Aldi. much, Mr. Tata. So, uh, good day, Mr. Wright. Uh, my name is Muhammad Aldi Ali Rahmat. You can call me Aldi. I'm a fourth year student. So, uh, it was a great, uh, apa ya? It, it was a great, presentation, it, it was a very insightful presentation from you that I learned that LOT program is such a great program to boost our confidence. And we learned that today. And uh, speaking of confidence, sir, may I ask you something? Uh, when leading a team that may have people who have more specialized knowledge, what have you done to demonstrate your confidence as a leader while allowing that specialist skill set to thrive? Well, we, we just learned your journey and it was incredible. Uh, I think it was incredible. You have worked with uh, amazing people, extraordinary people with some special skills. But my question is, what have you done to demonstrate your confidence as a leader uh, with, an allowing, with allowing that specialist skill set to thrive? Thank you. No, no, no thank you very much, uh, Audi. Very, very good question on that. And just to give you some perspective for everyone who, who's listening in today. Um, when I first started at the university, and this relates to Audi's question, I started lecturing at the age of 24. Okay, so it comes on to your question, Audi, to say, I was the youngest team member here, where you've got very much senior members of staff who have been at the university 20, 30 years, they've got PhDs, they've got MBAs. It's, uh, you're probably resonating going, James was, yeah, there's a lot more senior people there and, and you're in charge of all these different programs. Uh, the first key thing I'd highly recommend, Audi, is your competency. That's the key thing. And having confidence in yourself that you would back yourself regardless of the challenge, first of all, because you'll always have to communicate with one another. So you're going to have to sometimes just stick to your guns and say, look, this is my point on here. That's how we should go through it. And this is my specialist knowledge. So the first thing is competency. OK, the second key um, bit of advice I give is um, communication and asking as well. So there are lots of different um, 
individuals at the university who've got loads more experience than I have. So if you had to deliver a presentation, for example, to 20, 30 people, I'd speak to one or two people before the meeting, a week before, and just say, look, this is the ideas that I have. This is how I think it would work out strategically in the next few weeks and years on there. What do you think to it? Do you think that would actually be put into play? And, and the key question now do you have to um, get back is, do you think our colleagues would buy into this? Because you can't do it by yourself. Uh, Manish will know this from his experience working. You can't do everything by yourself. You've got to be good at put, persuading people and getting people to follow you. That's the key thing. So if you say your ideas to another experienced member of staff and they go, James, I like this bit. I think that could work. We could put that into play. But I'm not sure about this bit. I don't think they'd buy into that. Brilliant. I'd rather know now than going into a meeting of 20, 30 people, because then that would be <laughs> a bit more embarrassing on it. But um, that, they're the, the two real key things on there. And, and, and thirdly, is, is just be the hardest working person in the room at the end of the day. It's, it's one of those things, um, Audi, I'll be honest with you, when it comes to running, you're not going to outwork me. It comes to studying in the past, you know, I've, even though I failed, I'll, I'll still give my best. And it's uh, little things are just, I used to just look at myself in the mirror at the end of the day and just go, I'm, I'm giving it my all today on there. I couldn't have done any more. And that's why I just go, yeah, that's that's really good enough for me. And then then you start to progress and develop bit by bit. So if you say those little three things to yourself, those three tips, I think that will definitely help you, Adi. I hope that helps. Menjawab pertanyaannya, Aldi. Ya, sangat menjawab, Bu. Terima kasih banyak. Thank you so much, Mr. White. My pleasure. Thank you, Aldi, for the question. Maybe any other question from other participants? You can write it down on the chat box or you can raise hand. You can ask me anything. I really don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> the, the run tomorrow is uh, it's raining currently here in Lincoln. So uh, it's going to be a wet race tomorrow as well. So, uh, yes, it's be a nice, nice, relaxing day here today. But uh, we've still got lots going on. So. Friends, have you got a question? You won't be mumbling there. <laughs> yeah, was it? Um, uh, is it a marathon tomorrow? Uh, it's a ten k tomorrow. So oh, um, okay. I'm I'm hoping to do it in a personal best. So one of my we were talking about goals earlier on this year. I did my first Olympic triathlon that you see all the Olympians do, and that was a very tough goal on the. Mm. Um, and then the university, we have a um, a scheme here as to for health and well-being so there's going to be about 90 uh, university staff going tomorrow and I just thought well I've never ran a 10k under 40 minutes so that's my goal for tomorrow under 40 minutes which is a lot quicker than I've ever my quickest I've ever done one is about 43 44 minutes so shaving off four minutes tomorrow is going to be pretty tough off a short race but uh, I don't know if we've any other runners here but uh, if anyone else has got any other questions about work or fitness or work-life balance, uh, feel free to let me know. But are you a runner, Manish? I've just started, actually. So as you can see, I'm, I'm on the bigger side. So just, just started the running journey just like uh, six months ago. So it's exciting, but I haven't I haven't gone to your level yet. But it's inspiring, James. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I'm glad you enjoyed the presentation. But what, what you should do is join have an ACCA global run team on Strava. Mm. Okay. And uh, it's it, it connects ATCA members around the world who have a same passion for running, and we all support each other on there. So oh, cool. it's not it's not cool. all about work and everything like that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's all these things can actually help you connect, and you know, it's it's fun doing this. You know, sometimes just I think accountants forget to have fun. They all think <laughs> about it. They tend to be rather too serious about everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's I mean just for a bit of insight for. Um, the students who are joining us today and again if you've got any other questions to chip in just let us know if you want to raise your hand like um, Audi did but the world is getting small I remember when I finished at university and I thought oh my word I will, I'll never meet other accountants really in London or, or or Singapore or Indonesia or anything like that 
on a, through LinkedIn, um, online platforms like YouTube, all these other various different, and even the CPD events, the world is just getting so much smaller. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just a, a, a little story for everyone here is um, my parents currently live in Guernsey, which is a small little island where they've only got 60,000 people there. Okay, And I have to get a, a little flight for an hour to get there. And I was in a bar just on my on a Friday night after work. And this, this lady taps me on the shoulder and says, excuse me, sorry to interrupt your evening, but are you James by any chance? I went, um... Yes, yeah, so how could how can I help you? I've never met her in my life, okay? <laughs> she came up to me and said, oh, I just want to thank you, James, because I watched your introduction to financial accounting video on YouTube and how to pass the exam. And I was under a bit of pressure at work and stuff. I found it online. And I just want to say thank you because I got 72 on my exam. Wow. Um, so thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I couldn't believe it. I just went <laughs> all the places. Uh, that's amazing that's amazing isn't that amazing yeah the the kind of influence that social media can help us uh, impact yeah. yes it's so cool yeah. Yeah. right yeah maybe if i can emphasize something uh, since we also still uh, doesn't have any question yet the reason why uh, acca indonesia invite james for today's event is because we want to showcase a, a, a very good role model especially for a uh, young generations uh, as you can see, James uh, start, started the journey ever since he was uh, still very young. And uh, also the era nowadays is changing pretty fast. As you can see, all things have been uh, digitalized and uh, the positions now, uh, the vacancies are uh, getting uh, harder to, to get for a, especially the fresh graduate. So I think uh, what we want to point out is uh, by listening to the journey from James, uh, you can see how the qualification can actually uh, give you a bit a big leverage uh, on your career or your future. I think I think that's our um, goal or mission. Yeah, no, I think I think that's really a really good comment on there, Franz. It's uh, it all depends what, what what the students want to get out of it. That's the thing. If they want to potentially travel around the world and have some security that they know wherever they go in the world, they've got a globally recognized qualification, then brilliant. Then you, you're going to pick the right one on there. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and then you can go and work in a variety of different um, work and sectors that I've, I've worked in accounts, I've worked in tax, I've worked in public sector. And I know if I went and worked overseas, uh, like if I came to Indonesia and I worked out there for a few years, I know I could fit into whether that be management accounting or taxation again or all it's uh, it's just the flexibility of it as well exactly exactly you know james the issue in indonesia is i think the in terms of uh, intelligence you know they are very smart students it's just the what we lack generally is the the willingness and a confidence like what muhammad asked earlier about communication you know uh, even a mm -hmm. simple thing like like communication even at work level and professional level I've seen brilliant, brilliant uh, accountants, but they simply fail to communicate their 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 views, their the analysis of the numbers that they have brought on the table, the story behind the numbers, and mm. I, I think that's one of the very core skill that uh, uh, our our university students need to start from early. So, as simple as 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 you know, being seen uh, when you are in mm. classes on your videos, you know, uh, ask questions in a webinar like this. Uh, you know, make make it make ask those difficult questions. You know, uh, yeah. it's rare to get James uh, on the on the, on the call can, and to ask him those difficult questions. So I, that's I part can, of part of the challenge. Yeah, I, I agree with you, uh, Manish. Yeah. That's the thing. It's uh, I, I get honestly, I get questions every day, every day from accounting students around the world, like like uh, like what we have for, with students here today. So honestly, if you've got any questions, I get. Is accounting hard? Do I need to be good at maths to be an accountant? Um, can I set up my own business being an accountant? It's it, the demand, honestly, is there for, from questions on my Instagram, on YouTube, all of it on there. I just, there is not enough time in the day sometimes. So when we get an opportunity like a webinar here where I can answer them off the cuff, it's, uh, it's really for the students' benefit on there. But you've got to, it's, if you're uncomfortable talking or anything on those lines, like we said, well, 
you've got to get uncomfortable then so you can come off camera or just say something on microphone or something like that because imagine if you go to work for google or you go and work for amazon or you go and work for oh i don't know tesco or someone like that the expectation is that you will be on camera you will communicate on on, on microphone on there and whatever work you're doing they will need to know you'll have targets to set and you've always got to think about it from the other person's shoes. And a good phrase I always got taught was, okay, what I'm hearing from you is, and I'll explain it back to them and say, well, this is how I've interpreted it. And it's a really good way, especially if there are any um, cultural barriers or if someone's new to a role or they're not quite understanding it maybe, then that's a really good way of breaking that barrier down and you're still going to get to the end result of, of sorting out whatever it may be. Exactly. So any questions, guys? Yeah, I, I, I can understand if, if some of uh, the students are quite uh, shy because we have a big number of participants here. But anyway, if you have any question to ACCA Indonesia, to LSIF, or even to James, uh, you know where to find us. So we have our own social media. You can always reach out to us uh, by LinkedIn, by Facebook or Instagram. And also uh, you can uh, contact LSIF through the provided number. So I think uh, I'm gonna give back to uh, Okta for the closing session. Okay, thank you, Pa Franz. Thank you, Mr. Masnish uh, and Mr. James for the session. Then untuk seluruh partisipan, uh, Ms. Tia sudah memberikan informasi kontak yang bisa dihubungi uh, untuk uh, menanyakan tentang ACCA program atau hal-hal uh, yang lain di kolom chat. Jadi di situ sudah diberikan nomor telepon dan hotline number. Okay. Uh, Mbak Okta, can we do group yeah. photo before before the end? Oke. Okay. Before we close this session, we're going to take picture together. So please uh, open up your camera, give your best smile and pose. Okay. You have to get. You have to give them a minute. There you go. Quick, everyone, do your hair. Do your hair. Sebentar, masih sedikit yang. Back up, please. Nah, udah muncul tuh banyak videonya. Yeah. <laughs> That means they exist. They exist in in yeah. auditing, you know. The physical ex physical existence assertion is there. <laughs> okay. Are you okay. guys already open up your camera on? There are nine screen, but only. Maybe 25 participants just activate their camera. Okay. Pak Franz, yang screenshot dari ACCA atau? Ya, boleh, boleh. I'll do the screenshot, ya. Okay, on the count of three, put your best smile. One, two, three. Great. Yeah, I got it. Uh, Budila. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, James. Let's keep in touch. Uh, definitely, Manish. Yeah. Um, yes. drop, drop me a message on LinkedIn yes. or uh, or anything on those lines. And uh, yeah, feel free to get in yes. touch anytime. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, good luck with the running. That's the other key thing. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, Pak Roydin, Bu Furi, everyone, terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you, Pak Manis, Pak Manis, James, James, Fran. Thank you so much. Terima kasih banyak. See you later. See you. Bye bye. Terima kasih. Thanks, James. You're more than welcome. That's all right. I hope everyone enjoyed it today and they got some good notes down. Sure thing. Thank you, thank you, Bu Dila. Yeah, thank you. I will leave first. <laughs> <laughs>